In this video, you'll learn how you can shape your waist by training your deep core muscles. Yes, you can really reduce the circumference of your waist by training the right muscles. If you do sit-ups and crunches without activating your deep core muscles, what is that? Letting your belly go out, you're not going to activate your deep core muscles and then you're going to have your belly out. In this video, you're going to learn proper techniques, how to breathe, how to activate these deep core muscles. If you don't like to learn step by step the right technique, this video is not for you. Otherwise, stay with me because I'm pretty sure that you're gonna like this video and gonna be able to help a lot of people because when you strength your deep core muscles, you're not only shaping your waist, but you also in the back pain. Yes, everyone that have any type of back pain, they have associate the weakness of the deep core muscles. Once you learn how to activate, how to train these muscles, you're not only shaping your waist, but you're improving your posture and you also, you're ending back pain. To start off, we need to learn how to breathe with the diaphragm, dissociating of the breathing through the chest. I want you to put one hand on your belly, another hand on your chest and breathe only through your belly first, like this. And then breathe only through your chest. And you exhale. Only belly. Only chest. And you exhale. During the day, we uh, do more the chest breathing. We don't activate the uh, muscles in our diaphragm down here. What happens when you don't activate these muscles over here, you're not training your deep core muscles because they allocate some of them over here. This breathing dissociation is just to start to learn how to use these muscles over here in order to do the other exercise. I want you to practice this till you learn. I'm gonna do it again. Hand on your belly, breathe only through your belly. Hand on your chest, breathe on your chest, and then you exhale. After you learn to do this breathing dissociation, so if you do not learn this yet, don't go to the next step. You need to learn very well this technique. And then second step, you're gonna activate your core by engaging your abs doing this. Breathe only through your belly, and then through your chest. Squeeze your abs in, don't let your uh, go out, hold three seconds, and then you exhale. So belly breathing, chest breathing, squeeze it three seconds in, and then you exhale. Let's do it again. Belly, chest, squeeze, three, two, one, exhale. Belly, chest, squeeze, three, two, one, Exhale. You could do this one laying down or sitting down on a chair. It doesn't matter. So if you're doing laying down, belly, chest, squeeze, three, two, one, exhale. Do 10 times, okay? After you do 10 times this breathing association, activating your core, go to the next step, which we will learn now how to engage your deep core muscles by forcing out exhale so belly breathing chest breathing squeeze three two one force out exhale so now not only exhaling but you are forcing out the exhalation doing again belly chest, squeeze it in, three, two, one, and then we quarter prior, do another repetition. It's important for you, you really need to force out exhale. If you do this weak breath like this, nothing's gonna happen, okay? You, you really need to force out the exhalation in order to activate your deep core muscles. For you have idea if you're doing wrong or right, after you force out exhale, 
if you uh, don't be out of air, like wanted to breathe in, is because you didn't do it right. For example, you force out exhale and you find like this, you didn't put the right intensity, you didn't really force out the exhalation. But if you be like this, gotta be the sensation that you must have. It meant that you really forced out the exhalation. You can do also this one leg down like this. Belly, chest, squeeze. Three, two, one. If you're doing lay down, when you're done, before you get up, sit down and slow. Because otherwise, you can get this. Okay? So, you're going to do 10 repetitions of this one. But make sure you really force out exhale in order to activate your deep core muscles. You're gonna notice when you do this, when you force out exhalation, you're already feeling your waist going in. It happens why? When you do this exercise, we are activating one muscle that calls transversus abdominis. This muscle wraps our waist, start off on the lower back and goes around the waist. It's, it, it is like a belt. Think about a belt that we have in our body. Once this belt gets strong, it's gonna shape, it's gonna snap your belly in. That's why when you train your deep core muscles, you reduce the circumference of your waist and you also will end your back pain because these muscles as attach on your spine, give support to your spine to keep the upright position. So that's why many of you, when you try to keep your back aligned, after a few minutes or even seconds, you can't hold that and then you collapse because you have strength on your deep core muscles. And when you're doing any type of exercise, you must keep those muscles engaged. Let's say when you're squatting, doing that lift, lunge, you name it. Or even just when you're walking, whatever you're doing, you need to activate these deep core muscles in order to keep your right posture. That's why many people that work out, they don't know how to activate these muscles. They ended up getting hurt. Yes, because they just train out the muscles, it's out to give the right stabilization to the spine. Once you learn how to train these muscles, you're going to keep them activated throughout your whole day. But when you exercise, you need to activate them more. Have you seen those people, they don't even have a lot of fat on their belly, but look like they have because they have their belly protruding, belly out. It's because they don't know how to work on these muscles, okay? So by doing this breathing exercise over here, it's the first step to now go to the next exercise. Remember, you need to practice techniques. I'm doing this a, real, a little bit uh, fast here, but of course you can always come back on the video and watch again. My point here is make an educational uh, video for you in order to uh, that make you really learn doing that from home, okay? So after you learn those techniques over here, the next exercise that we're gonna do is the abs walkout. So, before we do this exercise, I want you to teach you uh, relieve, uh, relieve some tension through our, your spine by doing the cat and call exercise, which many of you probably haven't seen this one before. It helps us to create awareness throughout the whole spine, also to create some mobility. So, to do this one, it's going to be only one, one set of 10 repetitions. Stay on your hands and knees. First, bring the tailbone in, bend your lower back, middle back, upper back, and the head. Hold three, two, one. Tailbone out, extend your lower back, middle back, upper back, head, and push your body away out of the ground. Think about this. You're going to like push your body out, away out of the ground to hyperextend your spine. Hold three, two, one. One, tailbone. The movement will start from your tailbone, okay? Think about this. Your tailbone will control everything to reach your head. Hold three seconds. And then tailbone out. Every single time that you double extend your spine, which is this position over here, you count one repetition. It's important for you to really do this exercise slow. The point here is not doing that. I see a lot of people trying to do this exercise, do something crazy things like that, not really working the way that you should. The point here, think about this, you need to work 
each part of a spine gradually, step by step. That's how you really release your tension throughout your spine and gain mobility and flexibility. Think about this. Tailbone moving, lower back, middle back, upper back, head, and then hold. Three, two, one, and then go again. By doing that slow, controlling, feeling each part of your spine is the point to really activate uh, each part of your spine and it will give you awareness of your whole spine, which is very important for you to do any type of exercise. Once you're done doing 10 repetitions of this one, now let's go to the next exercise. It's the abs workout. Abs walk with your hands, walk out. So you name it. First step over here. Bring your tailbone in by activating your core. When you bring your tailbone in, you are engaging your core muscles to bring your pelvis on this direction, okay? Who does this movement? It's your glutes and your pelvis. You're gonna feel your glutes tight, also your core. So holding your pelvis here, you're already activating your core. Slowly, you're gonna walk with your hands, very slow. Hold the contraction of your core and your pelvis in, as far as you can hold the contraction, and then walk back. This is an easy way to do it, but if you want to make this harder, you can go with your body, and not only with your arms, like this, as far as you can hold the contraction. You cannot let your belly go out and your butt go back like this. If you're doing that, you're not activating your core. I'm already sweating. It's really hot here. <laughs> so, tailbone in, belly in, and then you walk back. So, you're gonna go as far as you can once you're able to keep the, your core activated, okay? If you're going here and then you're feeling that you lose the contraction, you must stop and walk back. Go as far as you can, holding your core engaged. You're gonna notice this very hard exercise. You're gonna feel a lot of work here on your core. It's really hot here. <laughs> so you need to learn how to Control the intensity of your own workout, okay? Because if I tell you to do 5, 10 or 15 repetitions over here, you're probably going to focus on the number of the repetitions here and not focus on the technique. So once you learn here, the point is learn the technique. It's not think about too much of the intensity of the exercise, okay? Do as much as you can since you're keeping the right technique. If you're today only, only able to do two or three or four, don't worry, rest 30 seconds and do it again. Do three sets of how many you can do. Remember, you have two options. The easy one, bring the tailbone in, go only with your arms, okay? It's a good start point. And then the hardest one, arms and body, working together, as far as you can, holding your core engaged. Pick one of them and work on it. Remember, the point is keep your pelvis in and your core engaged, okay? After you learn how to do this exercise, it's time to do the bracing technique. You're gonna do this one laying down. To do the bracing technique, you're gonna lower your ribs by exhaling out the way. So force out, exhale, and then your ribs will go down. And then also you're gonna snap your belly in. You're gonna hold this contraction and breathe only with your chest. So again, to lower your ribs, you can full exhale your ribs will go down automatically. And you snap your belly in and hold this contraction. Breathe only with your chest. 
during 30 seconds, you're gonna keep squeezing your belly in, holding your ribs down, breathing only with your chest. Drive your shoulders down, keep your chest up, your whole body must be aligned. You cannot allow your shoulders to go like this. Hold your shoulders down and back, chest up, lower your ribs, snap your belly in, keep your body aligned, 30 seconds, squeeze your abs as hard as you can. And then you recover. When you uh, lower your ribs, do not allow your belly to go out like this. You must keep your belly down and your ribs down. Okay? When you lower your ribs, you also need to activate your core and snap your belly in. That's how you're gonna full engage in your core muscles. Do not allow your belly to go out like this. Snap your belly in, keep your ribs down. That's how you're gonna engage your core. Think about this. When you're holding this contraction, you must squeeze your abs on the same way that you squeeze when you're using the toilet. It's the same technique when you are on the toilet doing your things. <laughs> Like literally, the same thing is how you activate your deep core muscles. That's why before you do this exercise, you must use the bathroom prior to try to do that. So squeeze as hard as you can, hold that contraction, breathe only with your chest during 30 seconds. Breathe only through your chest. Don't breathe through your belly like this. You must keep your belly down, ribs down, and breathe only through your chest during 30 seconds. You're gonna do 10 times, rest in 30 seconds between each time. So 30 seconds working, 30 seconds resting. That's how you will start to develop a lot of strength on your deep core muscles. Once you learn how to activate them, you must keep them activate throughout your whole day. But of course, throughout your, head, your day, you don't need to squeeze as hard as we're doing here to train them. But you always need to keep them a little squeezed in order to maintain the right posture. But when you exercise, doing any other type of exercise, you must squeeze them harder. Because you need to create more stability on your spine. Okay? Other than that, just a little bit. Think about this. When you exercise, you will squeeze like 10. When you not exercise, you will squeeze like 4. Just to keep the right posture. When you train your core muscles, you can, your deep core muscles, you must train them every day when you're starting out. After you're learning how to train your deep core muscles, you're going to be training them throughout your whole day. Doing anything, you're going to be able to work on them. But not at the beginning, okay? The first four weeks, do that every single day. You're going to spend 10 to 15 minutes daily. After four weeks, you can do one day and the rest another day. Do at least three to four times per week after four weeks. But on the first four weeks, do every single day. The interest that after the first week, you're going to start to see the difference of the, on the circumference of your waist. You will reduce the circumference of your waist already on the first week. So make sure you learn the right technique, okay? Because uh, I, I did a little bit fast here, but it's not that fast to learn. I deal with that every single day with my clients. I teach them every day. It's not an easy task to do, but once you try uh, doing every single day, you're gonna learn faster, okay? I have new videos on my channel every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Like this video, share to someone to help because uh, this type of workout, uh, I myself never seen at the gym, I never seen anyone teaching, training anyone this type of techniques, okay? You can help someone by sharing this video. If you have any questions, just drop on the comments below. And every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. I have a new video on my channel. Thanks so much. God bless you. And guys, see you in the next video.